Hey to everyone, this is Vembrand, and welcome to a new chapter of Steam World Dig. Alright, so we will continue our adventures down deep down under. In the last episode, we, uh, well, we got introduced to the game, we made our way to uh, number one down there. Which allowed us to get some running shoes, which is gonna make jumping around a lot easier. But what I'm really excited for is getting my hands on something that will allow me to dig in midair. Because that's gonna be useful for sure. Another thing that I'll be looking for is a, um, whatchamacallit. Something that will allow me to, um... Oh man, that's not what I wanted to do. Something... <sighs> to buy the copper lamp, that's what I was trying to say. To buy the copper lamp, because that will increase the amount of time I can spend underground without having to run back upstairs. Or, you know, finding resources. Pick up some nice stuff here. I'm still deciding on how some things will go, um, like, um, you know, deciding if... Well, how do you say? Deciding if I should, uh, you know, film something or not, or, um... If I should, um, come back later. Well, do some stuff off screen, off uh, camera, in order to... Oh, that's me walking. Like, uh, get some money off camera, depending on how quickly I'm able to make that money. But that's problems to think about at a later date. For now, I just need to make some monies. And hopefully get my hands on a, um, whatchamacallit. On the copper lamp, and then a better, um... Actually, I'm gonna get the better pickaxe first, because that's gonna be... It's gonna allow me to get better money, go around faster, too. We got a secret cave here. I'm really running low on, uh, on gas here. But I am curious on what happens if I run out of flame. But at the same time, I don't think I should tempt the fate yet. As I am still, you know, trying to get as much money as I can find. Crap. I'll come back for you, Citrine. That way, like that, perfect. Alright, I'm running low, I'm running really low. Oof. Made it, I made it. What you got for me? 30 bucks, not bad. Build most of this stuff with my own hands. Give me that bronze pickaxe, thank you. Is there a way for me to look at my uh, pickaxe to know, like, what's new about it? I should have read it better before buying it, honestly. Oh, perfect, I can break these in one hard shit. One shit. One hit now. Ah, uh, Trashium. I might get rid of it for something better later. Ah, come to me. Beautiful. I'll check out. I'll dig around this area if I can. It's, you know, I can dig around super easily now. Ironium, nice. I think it just tells me how hard it is to dig in the area. Oh, that is new, and I want it. Um, yeah. 
Bronzite. Hmm. And I did a small mistake over here. I dig, dig down way too uh, quickly. Oh, that's just Trashium. There we go. I'm making a good amount of money though, I'm quite happy. Yes, more copper, but I do want some of the new stuff too. Be good. Alright. Uh, head down from here, I guess. More ironium. Nice. Ironium. Like, not ironic, but like actual iron. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I'm getting to the harder areas now to dig. Uh, should head back. After that, I'm gonna pick up that copper and head into that cave, I think. That should be good enough. And maybe the upgrade I get from that cave will allow me to do a little bit better, too. Up here, like that. And there we go. Beautiful. And you, my friend? <clears throat> Getting a pay big pouch would be a good idea too. Alright, so let's do what I was uh, talking about earlier. Be careful, it's possible to take some falling damage in this game. Which kind of surprised me, honestly. Still can't break it, but I wonder if I can get some stuff from them. I'll get my copper first. And while I'm here... What, did it break under my feet? Hmm. Like, all around it. I probably didn't check around here. Alright, what's here? So I get some healing. I don't need it right now, so... Water does not hurt me. That's good to know. I might need to do a, uh, Like, double... What can I do? Really? Unless, maybe, I can do this. Oh, damn it. Yes! And... Citrine and some orbs. Nice. Yeah, there wasn't anything, uh, like, important in the cave, but it was still a pretty good cave. Somewhere a bit harder to deal with now. Ah. And I won't be able to go check what's in that corner. Ouch. Ah. There 
There we go. More iron ironing. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's go back all the way around. Just gonna open this up as an easy way to uh, come back up. I wish there was a way you could like mark your map. That would have been actually pretty useful. Okay, no. I thought it was only blue. I was like, oh, that looks special. <laughs> okay, I am running out of fire here. Let's get out of here. Almost there. Yes! I don't know what it means if I run out, but I don't want to know what it means. I should probably buy, buy that copper... that copper lamp. Coal lamp. Alright, so I'll be able to last a bit longer down there. Almost there. That trash film is not really uh, use of any use to me, so I'm just gonna ignore it. There. Nice kappa. I'm not stuck. I am not stuck. <laughs> but that was close. Beautiful. Although up till now it's really just digging down as long as I can. There's not much else happening. I do want to get to that, uh, in that nook. Let's see if I can find a way around to it. Perfect. There we go, got a shortcut to this spot. You. Okay. Need to be careful on where I dig. Gotta make sure I dig in the right direction first. Oh, nice. I didn't know I could do that. Perfect. That actually brings a lot, a good amount of fear out of me. Yeah. Trying to run low on, uh, on juice. Let's get through at the bottom here. That. Okay. There, I can, I can I can stick around a bit longer now. 
Okay, now I know I can do this. Nothing special in here. <laughs> Let him die. I would have I should have taken that flame though. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize I had was that full already. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there's gonna be a bit more exciting gameplay coming up soon because if not I might need to change the way I handle this uh, let's play as right now there's not much happening really just me getting ever deeper and making more money doing it nah, don't get me wrong it's fun to do but but it's really not good footage <laughs> For, uh, for you guys. Hi, right, hey, lady. Please take all of this off my hands. A teleporter. Ooh. <clears throat> Those strange devices, he used them to create shortcut back to Tumbletown. You're welcome to try them out. Yep. We got ourselves a big pouch, and when next time I'm coming back up is for the iron pickaxe. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a teleporter as deep as I can. Or maybe I'll wait until I get to the... Um... <sighs> I need to be careful, I need to be careful. Always slide down walls if I can. Yeah, because this is uh, getting deep as hell. Here you are. Come in my pocket, Bronzite. Oof, okay. I'm feeling a lot safer right now. Oh, look, a teleporter. Oh, and that is a hell of a big block. For now, let's go back around. Okay, now I have a shortcut back up. I don't have um, as much worry anymore. Get this. Ouch. Okay, they just come out immediately, huh? I'll keep that around just in case I need it to get whatever's in there. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, it might have been on a uh, crumble block like that. No worries, no worries. Uh, let's keep on going down for now. Look for more gemstones for our collections. I like the ones right here. Don't even try it. I can do is do this and then do this. And I got myself a nice road route all around. Perfect. Let's open uh, this up.
Hey, water. That's a little bit more interesting of a find. Oh, that is beautiful. But for now, that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is uh, basically. I'm gonna basically explore around as much as I can before going into um, number two here. Hmm. That was a mistake on my on my end. Fortunately, there's a way out. Get down here. Oof. That was dangerous. All right, but I'm uh, somewhere better now. Better with a lot of adventure. Come on. Do that jump. Yes. Alright. At least now I have a way out. Continue going down through here just in case. Now oh, those little holes here like that also like keeps me curious on what it could what could be there. Bronze eye, beautiful. I'm back in a very uh Fragile area. Thank you so much. Love it when the land's bounty is so generous. Thank you. <laughs> Dumb things. Oh. Oh wait, I can do this, I can do this. Thank you, okay. I'm starting to get pretty full on, uh, on resources though. I should go back. I doubt I'm gonna find more copper. So, where was it? God damn it. Okay, there's a way back. Oof. That's what the part that really worried me. Like, yes, it's nice to be able to teleport back up, but if I can't, like, just teleport back down, that's kind of a half advantage. Thank you. What do we have then? An iron pickaxe, please. Mm, bigger pouch. I'll need to start uh, saving up on um, these things. Well, anyway, since we're already at uh, 25 minutes, I'm going to end things early today. 
And tomorrow we're going to visit cave number two. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next chapter of SteamWorld Dig.